Next question. Many believe that the feasts of the Lord foreshadow events that will be fulfilled by Christ. Is there any merit to the idea that the rapture could occur on a future feast day? Well, let me give the background of this question before I try to answer it. Uh, If you aren't familiar with Jewish feasts, there are principally seven feasts in the Jewish annual calendar uh, given in Scripture. They have some additional ones now that have uh, come along since uh, historical Uh, events created them, things like Hanukkah. But in the Bible, there's only seven. And there's three in the spring coming very close to each other. There's three in the fall that are also very close in time with each other. And then there's one, eh, not quite halfway in the middle. And the first three are all pictures of what Jesus did at his first coming. They picture his death for our sin. They picture his sanctifying work by the removal of our penalties before God. And they picture his resurrection. And then at the end, the last three feasts on the Jewish calendar, they picture events that will happen at Christ's second coming or thereabouts. The last three feasts picture the rapture or the resurrection, we call it, the time of tribulation, and finally, the millennial kingdom starting. So we have three in the spring, three in the fall, and then the one in the middle is Pentecost. It pictures the giving of the law, the writing of the law on our hearts in the form of the Holy Spirit. Now, what's interesting, and this is why the question was asked, what's interesting is of the seven feasts on the calendar, Jesus is fulfilling all seven in his life. The first three at his first coming, the last three at his second coming, and of course, Pentecost happened in between. And the first four of those seven have already been fulfilled. Jesus already fulfilled Passover. He fulfilled the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Feast of First Fruits. And of course, he fulfilled the Feast of Pentecost by giving us his spirit. And each of those first four were fulfilled on the actual day of the feast. Passover happened on Passover. Uh, Pentecost happened on Pentecost. And as such, since that's been the pattern for the first four, the very next one, the next feast on the calendar after Pentecost is the one that celebrates the rapture or the resurrection. It is the Feast of Trumpets. Remember, Paul said that we are re- our resurrection will happen, the coming of the Lord will happen at the shout and trumpet of an angel. Well, the trumpet judgment, I'm sorry, the uh, trumpet um, feast is the feast that pictures the moment of the Lord returning for the church, the coming of the Lord at the sound of a trumpet. And so that's left some to speculate that if the first four were fulfilled on their actual feast days, then the fifth one should also be fulfilled on its actual feast day. So every year when the Feast of Trumpets comes along in the calendar, usually late September or somewhere in October, the thought is that maybe that's the time of the year when the rapture can happen. But of course, Jesus said, no one knows the day or the hour. Is it possible to fulfill it on a feast day? And yet at the same time, it's not known whether it's the day or the hour? Yes, it is possible because the Feast of Trumpets is actually a two-day feast in the way Israel observes it. And as such, it could happen on either day or any hour. So you could technically not know the day or the hour of the Feast of Trumpets being fulfilled, and yet at the same time, believe that it's going to be fulfilled only on the feast day. My advice to you is to be ready at any time, but if it is uh, ultimately fulfilled on Rosh Hashanah, on the Feast of Trumpets, well, then it will only make sense because God has been showing that pattern all along. So good question, a little bit of speculation. We can't know for sure. Always good to be ready. 